Regent Street is one of the major shopping streets in London's West End. The street was completed in 1825 and was an early example of town planning in England. Regent Street runs from the Regent's residence at Carlton's house in St. James at the southern end. Carlton House is a mansion in London, best known as the town residence of Prince Regent for several decades, from 1783. The street goes through Piccadilly Circus, a famous road junction and public space of London, built in 1819 to connect Regent Street with the other major shopping street of Piccadilly. Then the street passes through Oxford Circus, another busy intersection of the Regent Street and Oxford Street. The area was constructed in the beginning of the 19th century, designed by John Nash. From Oxford Circus, the street runs north through Langham Place and Portland Place and continues the route to Regent's Park, one of the Royal Parks of London. Click the Layout tab, which stops the animation and displays all photo thumbnails on the background. To change the background image, click the Images button. In the dialog, remove the current background by dragging the thumbnail in the bottom slot and dragging it outside the window. Then, select a new background image in the browser at the top and drag it into the bottom slot. Click OK to complete the selection. Your new background image is now used in the animation. Then you can drag the photo thumbnail to a different location. From photo to photo, the default transition path is a straight line. You can draw your own line or curve. This is especially useful as you can draw a path that follows the road of a map. To do so, click the sub-tab path in the layout tab. Click the photo thumbnail. The path from this photo to the next is displayed in the preview window. The green bordered photo is the departure location and the red bordered photo is the arriving location. To draw your own path, click the draw line or draw curve button, then click in the preview window to draw the path. Click the finish button to finish the drawing. Now, the traveling path will follow the lines you drew. You can also add an overlay animation to each photo or replace the photo with an animation. For example, you can replace a photo with a video clip or with a set of pan zooming images or any animated object from the animation template library. To do so, in Photo tab, click the Add Overlay button. In the dialog, you see three tabs, the Template tab with a browser of animation library where you can select an animation template to replace the photo, the Video tab, where you can select a video clip to replace the photo, and the Folder tab, where you can select the photo folder to replace the photo. At the top of the dialog are thumbnails of photos in the current album. Click the thumbnail to select the photo to which you want to attach the animation. Now, we want to replace the photo with a set of photos. In the Folder tab, browse the left directory tree. Click the Select button to confirm your selection. Let's exit and see what effect we get.